welcome back to the channel. Time for some more Hogwarts Legacy. I had a quick wardrobe change from last episode. Brand new hat, brand new glasses, upgraded gear score. And, uh, wait, what's this? A chest right here in the open. 45 big ones. Um, yeah, story so far. We have ancient magic that makes things explode. There was an old guy with ancient magic, and now we've learned there was a younger woman with ancient magic. And uh, Sebastian, our Slytherin friend, just saved us from uh, detention, I guess. But now we must take this book that we found to uh, Professor Fig. To continue the story, what's up here? Probably lots of hidden things to what Revilio. No doubt. Uh, but I'll have to come back and explore later. And for now, we have to find uh, Professor Fig's office. Alright, approaching Fig's office. I guess I could always just teleport here because uh, there's a flu travel point right there. Alright, begin. Quest start to take the book to prep. Now what I was just doing? Alright, we gotta go up here, I guess. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. Thanks, Sharp. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Oh dear, I remember George. What will you tell them about Mr. Roswick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. I have friends. Main quest complete, four to four. Level 10. Alright. Anything else in here I can punk from you? I think I already got this stuff. Yeah. Oh, read mail. 
It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the oh. usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. All right, that sounds like an okay to ask. Meet me in Low oh. Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. And he sent you an owl post requesting meter at Lower Hogsfield at Hamlet. Open the map. Alright, select the world map button and switch to the world map. Oh my. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog. Let me know where you can see. Hamlet's are small communities with the oak. Oh. This is Hamlet, Lower Hogfield. Hamlet's provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames. Goodness. Oh my. Alright. <laughs> Exit. Exit field guide. As you explore, you'll remove fog, reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities, Hamlet. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Goodness. Okay, you just throw lots on us here. Um, I got the feeling that the game just started now. It was, uh, just kind of opened up, and uh, the intro was all done. It only took about seven recordings to get here. <laughs> Okay, so there's a couple classes to do, but then there's also uh, the dueling stuff and the spell combination practice, um, which I think might blend into this. It wants me to successfully dodge enemy attacks and cast incendio on enemies, so I wonder if you can do that while you're doing these. Okay, back to this EA. Alright, let's do the training dummy first. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Ready. Must be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. Okay. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right. Oh, I see. So you pull them in close. You lay him on fire, and then you love you see him. Excellent fall. Is that it? Oh, no, we're back again. Okay, and then we can do the love you see. Accio, and then flame. That makes sense. This is a good practice, though. Four men. One shot. Fire. Three shots. Liviosa. Three more shots. Pulling close. Burn them. And the full combo with a burly. Just like a dance. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other duelists had better beware. I'm not going to be able to remember all that. <laughs> I can see where the combat gets uh, a little complex here, with them popping shields and then doing the combos. Uh, let's give it a whirl here. All right. See, this goes Hello, towards uh, Is the, final round the other quest. Ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this: the moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot of glory? Sure. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Ah, uh, no. I'm the Hufflepuff Lord. I'll Has no partner. Tonight. Then let's get started. Okay. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Four of them? Uh oh. This isn't good at all. Can I ancient magic them? Break the red shields with the fire spell. Okay, got it. Alright, no bro. Incendium. 
Whoop, that didn't work. Alright, hold on. Nope, that's the wrong button. Okay, what's, what one do you have? Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Oh, cheap shot. Cheap shot. Okay. Don't shy away now. Nope. Oh, too many of them. Okay, that's gonna be too hard. <laughs> that's gonna be really hard to do. Oh, they made a crap as breakfast out of you that round. Can't you try again? Oh, well, not right now, because no, I'm gonna see so. if not that right dodging now. counted Understand towards that quest. Uh, don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Okay. So, um, quest updated. So did it go towards that dodging stuff here? Yeah, okay, so all I gotta do, so I already did the incendio, now I gotta dodge three more times. Okay, so we'll try again. Uh, and complete that here. It's a real victory. Okay. That's the spirit! I gotta try and remember the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I know that. Alright. There we go. Oh, they got a lot of health. Okay, what do you need? Whoop. Incendio. Right. Oh, wrong button. Oh, cheap shot. There we go. Incendio. It's all about the stupid guy. So we just focus on this guy. Incendio. Oh no, he's trying to get me. Okay, one down. Whoop, oh, wrong button. Okay. So you don't really need to worry about their shields too much. Nope, roll. Good. Whoa. Okay, someone. There you go. Super value. Oh. Oh, don't get my buttons mixed up. Oh, you got a shot in. Okay, hold on. There we go. One more time. Yo. Whoop. Aha. Now I want to get. Whoop. Stupefy. No, 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 don't defeat, don't defeat me. No, 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 no. Whoa. No problem, I got this. Oh, no. Okay, third try. Should be able to get it this time. Nope. Oof, that was close. There, one more left. No problem. Uh, Leviosa, we're gonna pull him in. We're gonna light him on fire. And beat the poop out of him. Stupefy is definitely the way to go. There. He's done for. Whoop! Just kind of toying with him now. 
Yay! Solo victory! Big hits that round. What a victory! You've won the tournament! I'm just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. Now, okay. to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. What's that? Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. I suppose. How my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. That's no good. Okay, what did I win? Yes. Cross Wands Champion Robes, eh? The best duelist won, I suppose. I'm sure it did. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Uh huh. Lost to a new student. Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Awesome, alright. So how do I find these cool robes? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I found it. Ah. Definitely fashionable now. I've got my red scarf and my like scarecrow hat or scarecrow hat and uh, Like the blue vest thing. That's the that's the dueling champion outfit right there All right, I look I look pretty goofy. I should take this scarf off All right, there we go Awesome, I'm the master duelist here now. We got to attend the defense against the dark arse Arts class during the day, so I'm pretty sure it's a day. Yep, uh, I just need to find my way over there to get a new spell. Oh yeah, this is, this is I'm looking much better now. Wait, what, was this here before? What's this do? Oh, this. Okay, I bet you it didn't light up before because I didn't have a fire spell. Incendium. There we are. There you go. Let's go like that. Okay. Okay, it's getting pretty good now that the sort of the intro stuff's all finally been done. I kind of like the combat. It's not too bad how that's set up. And I did change it uh, back to or two normal difficulties. I didn't get all those uh, pop-up things happening. All right, next dark arts class. Somebody supposed to be talking? Oh, I bet your music's supposed to be playing now. As we work away and study. Okay. So now, oh, before I talk to her, I seen a thing pop up here. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yeah. Rebellion. Oh, it's right here. Can I get it from here? A large dragon skeleton that hangs the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is literally a trophy taken by Professor Hecat after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in the Eastern Wales in a great poacher raid. Alright. Right on. Let's get our new spell. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Okay, there we go. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. All right, time to sort out this spell because I got Reparo down there right now. So where is Expelliarmus? Is red spell disarm wands and weapons from those enemies who wield them. Also deals damage to all enemies and if they do not carry a weapon. Okay, so let's put that on the bottom. So I got two reds, a yellow, and a purple, which is a force and a control. All right. 
Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus. <laughs> There we go. Got it. Boom. Alright. Uh, so, we got that spell under control. All four of these getting the hang of it. Okay, now we're off to herbology class. I don't think I've been out here yet. This is like the greenhouse. Alright. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool here. We shall come and So where is the class? And there's a lot of stuff around here. Oh, is this a flu transport thing? Good. Oh, here we are. again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest friend. <laughs> look how awesome I look. <laughs> we do I fit right together. in. Kind of look like a gardener, though. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malignant Tuba known as the Mandrake Root. from the movies. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip their Mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Full Mandrake. Quickly! Place your Mandrake in the new port and cut down the soil! Also, just had to move it to a bigger pot, the okay? The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Splendid work now, for indeed. Our next task will be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Okay. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Alright. Yeah, you're kind of a geeky one. Hmm. I wonder I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. He's off to London. Anybody else to talk to? Any secrets? Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Interesting. Hey, Sebastian. You're still around, are you? Alright. What can we do for you, Professor Garlic? Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Uh, I enjoyed it. I nearly went deaf. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. 
picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep? Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy. Plant any seeds at the potting table. Dittany's okay. restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion. Oh, that's the healing that's potion. Know from Professor Sharp's class. Is that the healing one? I, I take it it is. I'm all out of that. Dittany, leaves of the uh, medicinal herb are used in a Wiganweld potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and can be grown in pots. Okay, ten minutes. Plant. Alright. You can add fertilizer to the plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Well, now, Professor Sharp, like what Professor say we Snape. Branch out. Introduce you to a different sort of flora: the Chinese chomping cabbage. Okay. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Oh, okay. Meet uh, Leander Pruitt. Oh, I remember him. I'll oh. be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Okay, you're not who I thought I was, but okay. Come on, Leander. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. That was nothing. I'm the Sebastian dueling champion. In this place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Okay. On, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't Harvest. worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me. Harvest one. Just... Now, see that dummy. Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Attack the target dummy with chomping cabbage. How do I do that? Oh, hold, um, hold left bubber. Oh, okay. Then tap. Okay, so I need, um, the cabbage. Okay. Okay, then use it. All right. It says I got zero to three, but I also have one. Look oh. at that! Oh, from anything they can get their mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Wow, that thing's awesome. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh, I was imagining it all Trust right. me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Uh, he's Dogweed getting and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. So can I collect more of these? How many of these can I get? Oh, they're like 
big grenades. All right. Um, what's this? Okay, I guess these just are here for anybody. Anything else? What's over in these pots? Nothing. How about Aurelio? Oh, there's a thing right here. No, oh, wrong button. Oh, it's right behind me. There it is. The orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it uh, can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Oh, can I get these? No. Alright, I guess that's all that's down here in a locked door. Alright, return to Professor Garlic. Full reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. They're halfway done. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. As I as am I, plants offer so much. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Yay! Quest complete. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Okay, should I wait for these to get done? Like anything, Crow, we must first understand it. I don't but think it really matters, does it? As well as friendships, kindness, Since and I can just pick the ones that are around here. What's this? As in the bright hall. Uh, how very thoughtful of you to remember the strawberries are my favorite. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Everything you cultivate seems to be such high quality. Oh, darling niece, learn to kill and ta-ta. Okay, it's just a, a note to her. What's this? Hello, sweet leaves. Might as well just collect all, all this. Anything else? What's in here? Oh wow, is this just like all all over the place? You can just kind of... I guess there's nothing in here to grab. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, it looks like it's potion class time. Yeah, I like potion class. Alright, here we are. Potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. I need lots of those. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. No problem. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Doesn't actually teach us how to do it, just, uh, there you go. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I wonder if this is how you have to make all your potions.
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. All right. It seems nice. Um... Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. All right, so here's... Oh. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Thank you, your Feather. I'm not sure it's a good idea. I'll get you your Feather. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Collect Ashwinder's eggs, collect a dark mongrel fur, and a whoop weather feather. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on her. Alright, no problem. There's a whoop feather. Whooper feather. Oh, and a chest. Gotta take his gold. Uh huh. What's this? Oh, another letter. Uh, Bo uh, Borgen and Burks. Was that increased amount of activity outside the ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours and nights, the suspicious deliveries being made to shop back entrance? Given that we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more auras to join those that have already been watching the shop bureau. Amongst the new additions. Oh, okay, so he's an aura. Um, okay. Mongrel fur. And Ash Winter Eggs. Good. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here you go, Weasley. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. All right. Uh, let's see here. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Oh, I see. Uh, brew potions here. So that one needs pork lump and didney leaves. And this one needs the eggs and mongrel. A potion enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with durable rocky skin. One bottle. Okay, that goes in and that goes in. And then it takes uh, 30 seconds to brew. Alright, here it comes up. And there we go. Pick up. Fancy. Okay, so did I get one? And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. 
What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. <laughs> All right, fine. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Right. I'm not scared. I'm the Lord of Hufflepuff. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, I'm just going to hold up to it. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today <laughs> at your own cauldron, <laughs> okay. I will say that was easy. you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Oh, In addition him. to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Mm -hmm. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Right on. Another class done. Leveling up. Rebellion. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. All right. Now I wonder what's up. All right, so next up we gotta meet Nadio and Lower Hogsfield. But I actually think that's enough for this episode two classes: Herbology and Potions class completed. Yeah, I think I will leave uh, going to see Natty for next time. So I'm gonna sign, uh, sign off now. So thanks everybody for uh, watching. Take care.